1075 WGCI, the shots number one for hip hop and RB, and that brother tore it down New Year's Eve, man. Shout out to Lil Duval, shout out to D Ray Davis, Michael Blackson, and myself, Damon Williams. We had a wonderful time, man, rocking and bringing in New Year's Eve with y'all. But right now, it's all about the best damn morning show in Chicago. Myself, the best legend, Leon Rogers, the beautiful Kendra G. Shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle, is off to the Keebler L Factory learning how to make cookies. <laughs> and filling in for him is Just Niche. And we got the crew. These are our peoples, man. Yes. These are our peoples. Uh, Kendra, why don't you do the honors of so, introducing us to this They're wonderful. proud of every individual in this. Um, Black excellence. <laughs> Black excellence. They also, so on television, I got to say this. I, I, I give y'all so much credit because y'all show us the highs and the lows of your personal life for our entertainment. But I can, I can only imagine sometimes watching the back, you'd be like, oh, my God. So we got Charmaine, who you guys know from WGCI. What's up, everybody? Four, who's Not musical. Charlemagne. Charmaine. <laughs> Two different people. Right. <laughs> music we have played on WGCI. We'll get into that. We got Saw Bay, BKA Ryan. Uh -huh. And we also have Don in the building. Good morning, guys. What up? Good morning. Good morning. So, season five, how are we feeling launching tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm excited for season five. Well, you know, how y'all feel? I ain't going back and forth with none of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You brought that up, Ryan, because the last season I saw um, there, there was times when y'all was cool, there was times when y'all wasn't, and I feel like, are y'all acting like, I remember the Black Women's Expo scene, when y'all was like behind the scenes and y'all was going at it about the new shop that you had. I be wondering, like, are y'all friends in real life, or like, what's going on right now? It was the tattoo convention. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, oh, that's real. I feel like what people get from it is that, you know what I mean, we represent one of the most prominent cities and if we was on there faking you would know it you know what i mean so we couldn't be on there faking and then representing the city and you know doing something that people don't understand so yeah man like we be into it and you know we friends and family and stuff but i ain't i ain't gotta be listening to what you're talking about or we ain't gonna agree on everything you know so stuff like that happened and it's real let me ask you a question and I'm, I'm gonna pose this to the fellas on the crew because i i know y'all met y'all hung with y'all i don't know what type of guys y'all are does it ever get to a point, and Don, I want you to chime in on this, where you just like, are you ever conflicted? Because we all know it's a reality show, and we all know sometimes they do things to get a reaction out of you, but you like, which Don you want? Right. Which Ryan you want? Which yeah. four you want? Because I'm trying not to give you this one, because yeah, we, we ain't going to have no show no more, so have you ever become... <laughs> yeah, I mean, always. It's always because, uh, depending on... You know what what they trying to get out of you that night or what's coming and what we walking into that evening you know what i mean you yeah. just don't know who i am I, I keep both of them in my back pocket yeah. i could be the sweet don very smooth but then if you know you get too disrespectful with friends family myself my lady, then you just you know, yeah, like you when who you, you get when you King Kong the ceiling. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you saw that? Don't I know know that. Kong that. <laughs> I say, man, I know that club owner's like, what the hell is he doing to my club? <laughs> 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 that was a black like in New York. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't to be disrespectful towards them. It was just one of the moments. Was like, look, man, you just ain't. I might ain't finna play with y'all. Well, let's go back because people that are listening right now might not know what we're talking about. So, what what scene are we talking about? It's a scene when they were showing back. Uh, when I guess the woman that you had uh, well, it was you know I, I'm not gonna get into the editing oh cause you but, can't hit our ceilings yeah, I mean, not. I'm not gonna get into the editing of it but, but long story short it's it was just no nah, it's chiming on what really happened it was just it was just really what it was was they was just trying to play different footages and I wasn't feeling the period then uh you know, it, they, but the footage was, a, was one when you were a different so woman that wasn't. Uh, 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 right. okay. what, what really happened was. so for one it was the uh, what that was a Christmas special right right yeah. um they were, I wasn't allowed to come. You know what I'm saying? I was uh, Percy. Uh, I was I was in New York, just as uh, well as they were. But I was handling something else. And um, it was uh, the video. You know that went, they went viral from my relationship with me and Nikki. And um, I wasn't there to speak on my behalf. You feel me? So uh, my brother, which I respect, love him to death. He said, "Man, y'all not gonna talk about my brother in this room for the people that don't give a fuck about my brother." So I'm gonna step up for y'all. Okay, so that's, that's what y'all don't. My see. bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Back in Chicago, Living my best life. <laughs> dump button, dump no, button. I'm not, I'm not finna let that happen, you know what I'm saying? So, I, like I said, he just spoke for me, you know what I mean? So, that's pretty much what it Okay, was. so I thought it was a video uh, of the. No, that's, no, that's editing. That's, that's editing. Oh. So, in real life, they played a video of four, and Don wasn't feeling it. So. Yeah. Oh, so on, oh, so in the editing, it's not even the. Oh, wow. So, they noted this, like, my wife spoke up on that part. Of course, they mm. tried to do a little. Little throw a little a little shade at her, and she checked the whole thing from jump and shut it down. So I really didn't have to turn up at that point, you know what I'm saying? But then they tried to keep it going. My nerves was already 
bad. You know, bad when you, my wife had to get a little aggravated. It was like so back then, to back. So then you hit me with two blows at once. It was like, all right, y'all, y'all. Okay, so look, let's go into it. Four, you up first. What's poppin'? We got to talk about the video that went viral that we saw um, last time. season. Hey, hey. So, okay, so let's... <laughs> So, okay, um, there was a scene with you Niche. and Nikki, yeah. and alleged, oh, someone sent her a video of you that you sent to another yeah. person. Yeah. So the whole question was for, do you send videos out when you go all between your legs? That's I mean, what everybody was talking like about. It's like this, man. If y'all don't know, you know, uh, any woman that I've ever dealt with in the past, they know, even Nikki, you know, like, you know, for a freak. So um, I'm, <laughs> I'm very comfortable, you know, uh, with my um, sexual ways and what I do, you know what I'm saying, in the bedroom. And the rules in the bedroom. What beat are we playing underneath this? Right now, we need to be playing. <laughs> 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 no, but, uh, no, but, uh, you know, um, <laughs> 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 well, No, but I was gonna say this, and there's nothing wrong with this, but one of the rumors that people were saying because of the way the video was yeah, filmed yeah. Is, is for gay. Now, if yeah, you yeah, want, yeah. there's nothing no, wrong no, with that, no, of course. No, not at all, not at all. I mean, I have family members that are gay and friends, so I'm not homophobic at all, but no, for is not gay. Um, we're just <laughs> that, a freak. I'm just gonna be honest, man. The prettiest girls is the nastiest, man. Like, I ain't gotta get too detailed. Let's just be honest. Okay, okay. 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 But that's what it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I gotta ask y'all, man, because... Well, let's, let's, like, act like we ain't all sent news before. I have, oh, I'm saying, so. Well, I, you know... Not, yeah, not, 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 I, 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 I have sent news, though. You just sent the news morning. on your Instagram yes, over this weekend. That's different. Oh, Those that's trap that's news. Don't be sending us off. At least Ford keeps it clean, because when I saw the video for what the only thing that came to my mind was that you're nice and clean in that area. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, expect, I expect the same thing from my woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there kids the way to the Listen, so I want to talk to you guys. So you guys were birthed from Black Ink Crew, the, the, the New York show, right? And then they kind of did a spinoff with you guys. So is it a competition thing with you guys now? Because y'all, y'all like the number one rated show on the network, right? Yeah. So does, does it get a competition? Is there any little, always, you know, little always competition? Do they call y'all and be like, yo, yo? No, I mean, it's still love. It's, it's I mean, still love. love. It's love. We ain't competing with nobody, but yeah, if you need to compete with us, then that's on y'all. No, it ain't never been that, man. <laughs> like, honestly, uh, like, I was friends with Season them before, you know, okay. they yeah. started the show. So going through it, you know, people probably would have wanted us to have that competition, but not knowing that we was all in tune, you know, it just made it better for both of our shows to mm. cross and then to have love, you know, year round. Now you got us on 52 weeks a year, so you seeing us and you seeing them, and we take over the whole, you know, the whole night all year long. So it's just two different, two different lanes. We drive to New York. I want to get invited to a Christmas party or something. Cause I, <laughs> yeah, not that one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Wait, one thing, but one thing before um, I know just. So we get reset. Are you and Nikki together right now? No. You're not together right now. Uh, no. So we'll see. Single. We'll, we'll see. I was gonna say now, all of you men are attractive, like Don Ryan. They are, girl. No, Thank they you. are. Thank they're you, they're, they're, they're attractive you. guys. <laughs> they are. How, how, uh, what? I'm giving you. Listen, I'm giving y'all a compliment. Y'all better receive this Four moment. Right, right. But I want to say, <laughs> is it hard? <laughs> because we, no, be, because you guys are attractive males um, and y'all famous, is it hard to stay faithful? Now you told me you and Nikki aren't together anymore. Yeah. Ryan, I'm assuming you and Rachel are still together. <laughs> no. Oh man! No. Yeah, this season tonight, uh, you will actually you'll go more in depth about you know what's going on with me. Everybody and my gonna slide in Ryan DMs. So, what? You know, <laughs> Ryan yeah, is single, you know, y'all. I mean, Sliding his DMs. Ryan Henry no, just don't did. Don't do Already. Well, we're gonna look. Please get your hand out the man pocket. Yeah. It ain't nothing I'm proud of, you know what I mean? Right. It's just, you know, we go through things, and if, you know, things don't last, then they don't last, you know, we still gotta move on, you know what I mean? We gotta find out what's going on with Donna and Ashley when we come back to. They got home. <laughs> <laughs> when we come yes, back, man, man, more with Black Ink Crew Chicago, man, let's take a break, man. GCI. Man, first off, I've been working here at GCI for like 20 days straight because y'all been out of town. That's right, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, okay, so listen, we got Black Ink Crew. It returns tonight on VH1, 8 p.m. Season 5, Chicago. Le the number one show on VH1, so big up. The number one show on all cable TV. So, all cable so, TV. so bigger than like the um, Love & Hip Hop? Bigger than everything. We number one on all cable TV, Wednesday nights. 
Unless it's the playoff game and it's the Lakers. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Okay, so make sure we tune in tonight. Um, listen, so real With time, I, I was on man, Facebook. Sweet. Listen, I was on Facebook Live. Get your big ass This question's for you because I was on Facebook Live. Now that you're single, um, Antoinette Castro wants to know, would Ryan get back with Cat? Ryan was never with Cat. Um, he was never you? with Cat. Will we ever see Cat come back to Black Ink, Chicago? I hope Probably we can not. afford it no more. Probably not. Cat doing her thing in, in LA. She you know she out in Beverly Hills, and I don't think there's like any reason for her to like come back at this point. She's okay. doing great. She's yeah. successful out there. Man. Okay. <laughs> we saw Nicki Minaj on the show last season. That was dope. How did that come about? Uh, you know, I know Nick. She's cool. And then uh, you know, we decided to showcase you know a different part of what goes on, as opposed to just you know. I mean, we I make my grounds by tattooing locally and you know the people who helped grow me but you know we've always expanded out and had celebrity clientele i just never wanted to exploit it for television we want them to know that we tattoo regular people but it's like all right when everybody you know bid against me i'm like all right let's stun a little bit and show you what i really want okay. you know okay. i'm saying i want to come on there and get a tattoo, tattoo and then Ridges. run out the door not pay <laughs> just for it just want y'all to know we tattoo <laughs> Reggie's too <laughs> you say you want to <laughs> like, I want you to do something like real exquisite on me. I'm like, hey, man, Ryan, I appreciate you, man. Then break out the shop. Right so, I've seen somebody do that, man. Y'all know what we at, boy. We ain't playing like that. So, right. just, I have no tattoos, and I always, I think I told you before because I'm chocolate. So, I always felt like it was going to hurt because you got to put more, like, color for the ink to show. So, maybe one day, me and four are the same complexion. I could, but they all black these tattoos. tattoo artists. We the best, these, in, the, we the best in the yep. world at tattooing dark. Yeah. Okay. Can you, Hi, say again, Nish. Glow in the dark tattoo. Glow in the dark tattoo. Where you gonna get that, Kendra? Um, I'm right. getting ideas on uh, Instagram Live right now. What dudes telling you to get your tattoo and they'll pay for it? No, 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 I don't. <laughs> in your back door, Nothing's 65 free. says. That's okay. I'll pay for it myself. In your back door. <laughs> in your um, back door, 65 <laughs> says. Tell Kendra to get it right by her sweet spot where she get the laser hair removal. What? <laughs> I got her. Thousand dollar budget. How much Whoa. it'll cost for a tattoo? More than a thousand dollars, right? No. Oh God. He said, I, yeah. <laughs> Don, you up? Let's talk about it. You up? What's up? So you know we've had you and Ashley on the show together before. Yeah. Last season we did see some term like you know I, I think she left for a while. She's back. Is, are you guys back together now? What's the update? Because uh, yeah, I know I mean, she left and went to Texas. I believe. Yeah, yeah. She was living in Texas for a few months. You know, probably the hardest a uh, couple of months. You know, being uh separated our kids, you know, it was tough. DJ was with me, Ashton was down there with her. So it, it was a it was it was life changing experience, you know what I'm saying? And I just had to, you know, learn some things about myself. She took some time to, you know, uh learn, you know, better herself at the same time, man. And, you know, so we just took that time to really understand we just needed to do some growing and now we were able to come back together. Um and we've been smooth ever since. Like, you know what I mean? Just we steadily progressing. I don't think no relationship gonna be perfect. But I think we just uh, learning new things about ourselves the older we're getting, and we're just learning to appreciate each other a little bit better. And you know, communication skills are grown, and you know, that's you know, I'm that boy man now. Cause the social media man. sometimes that boy get man you off, cause like the social uh, media be going hard against you when you do Ashley Ron. They be like, Ashley, you better leave him. He be making you look dumb. See, like, how does that make you feel? Because they, they be I mean, calling Ashley real dumb to say I mean, with you. I mean, that's fine. I mean, you say you call me stupid, you call me won't. You call us a lot of things, but one thing we gonna be is happy. So it's like you can go ahead and keep hating, but most of those people are bitter, salty. Are they own situations. Because they, people... they dumb at home and ain't nobody watching. Ain't nobody watching. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not act like, let's not act like relationships are perfect. Sure, people man. that are married, you know, always, they're hey, man, constantly that, going through yeah. things. It's, the only difference is your relationship is not on television. Mm -hmm. So it's really not that's cool for you thing. to be judging anybody on this side that's putting our life out there for you guys. Kendra, yes. your turn is not because I know you got, you got the crosshairs on somebody. <laughs> First of all, they all have been very well with answering questions, and I love that about them. We got Charmaine, who we also know Charmaine. Like she said, she's been filling up for us all week. But Charmaine, it's your turn. First things first, uh -oh. very proud of you. I Thanks saw the interview you that you did with G Herbo on The Shade Room, Thank which you. was awesome. That's what you're supposed to do. Get your job, girl. Get I was those. nervous, and I actually was thinking about you because, oh. yeah, like, you know, obviously all of y'all at WGCI trained me. And I've learned a lot from y'all, and you know, you always go after the tough questions. So it was really hard for me to get out, but I, I thought... I do that. Now I can't ask you a tough question. Uh-oh. What is it? What <laughs> is, is it? You know what? It's not 
not even tough. You know, the one thing about Charmaine that I really do love is I love your hustle, and I love that you came in here trying to really make sure you knew your craft. So I always respected that. Thank so, you. you know, as you go, you know, I'm, I'm just going through comments and asking the things that people want me to ask. Uh -oh. So one thing, we've talked about this, and as a woman, I know how this feels, too, when we sometimes gain a little bit of weight. A so, little. So when that happens, people start having the rumor, and I even show Leon and Kyle sometimes. People say, oh, Kendra, you got something. Are you pregnant now? And I'm like, that's what they say. So people are saying, just ask Charmaine this question. Are you pregnant? I know you're not, but let's just clear this rumor <laughs> I up. am on my period as we speak. <laughs> okay. Uh, no lie, you know, I know my boobs are huge, the the butt's growing, you know, she but my stomach. You have Oh, my it. stomach is growing too. <laughs> first off, people gotta you understand if you don't have, have a booty, you're yeah. gonna have a stomach, first right. off. And yeah, I mean, mm. I'm definitely No, <laughs> see, if you don't have a if you don't have a small stomach and you got a booty, your butt's not real. <laughs> okay. But I am a thick girl. I've always been a thick girl. Like, you know, I've always been just a thick Amazon stallion, and that's what I'm I still scary. am. Does it ever bother you like some of the comments though? You know what? It doesn't necessarily bother me, but it's it it's kind of annoying sometimes because I'll like put on a really nice outfit and they're only focused like on one thing. Uh, but lately, I just feel like it's kind of rude. Yeah. <laughs> like lately, it's just be like, oh, she's pregnant or whatever. And I just kind of think it's rude because in real life, you would never walk up to someone and say, are you pregnant? Right. You just wouldn't do that, you know? But I'm not tripping on it. It's TV. And they could be saying worse things. I done been called it's way worse. It's not even TV. You're talking about social media. Well, social media. Less yeah. than 1% of people who support you are on there being negative. So she got a dude at home who tell everybody she look he good. He is grabbing and that's it, why girl. You, that's why you do whatever. <laughs> yeah, I got bigger in a relationship when I had somebody loving me. Okay. Yeah. 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 See, that's say why that. I'm slim out. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you see it. Shut up, Ryan. I got dumped. I got the gym to <laughs> so, 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 I want to ask each, and each one, I want each one of you all to answer this question. When the show's said and done, and I'm not saying that it's going to be over with anytime soon, what is it that you want people to pull from the show about you as a person? Like, what, what do you want people to walk away from watching Black and Crew Chicago? What, what do you want them to say about each one of y'all, each of y'all on personal? Go ahead, Don. You want to get well? <laughs> I mean, personally, like, uh, Man, my life has just been a walking testimony, man. So I just want people, you know, after you watch it all <laughs> said and done, man, you can make it do anything. And that's just what I've been telling myself daily. Like, man, I'm still a king. I'm still going to be great at the end of this. You know, I got some beautiful children. So I'm just determined. So people just got to understand when they watch me, just understand, man, can't nothing break you if you, if you don't allow it to. Mine? Yeah, I mean, mine is pretty much as I put it out there. You know, like we... Never expected to have no show here in Chicago. We was just working hard. So for people to see us go that far and what we're doing, man, all I wanted to give them was the art. From that, we use a platform to put it out to the world. And from that, they see real stuff. Like, all right, man, yeah, we get mad. Yeah, we argue. But everybody do. You know what I mean? You fall out with friends, and then you come back together. Everybody do that. You have relationship problems. Everybody ain't watching all of y'all. So when people get to watch ours, it's like, yeah, we make mistakes. So I can care less about what social media say. Just get the real of it from me and what I represent about Chicago through the drama and all that stuff. And people all around the world, no matter what airport, city, or country, recognize that more than who say something in the negative comments. So to have that out here in the world is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. me, I would definitely say... You know, I've had the opportunity to be on this show with my friends and from there work at WGCI. And um, for me, it was just having this new opportunity at WGCI and just making it my own and learning the craft and trying to do my best and work hard. So people see me on TV as this turn up girl, but I went to Howard University. You know, I'm a smart girl and I work hard. So. Really, for me, I just want people to see that Charmaine works hard. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard. I've been working all month. <laughs> um, you know, this is our fifth season. Um, I think my message I pretty much want people to know is just to be yourself. I mean, um, we're not here to do nothing on earth but to love each other. You know, um, and that's just, you know, I'm a positive person. If you know me outside of TV, y'all see that. So that's the energy I, I bring to the table. You know, I'm not really all caught up in a drama like that, you know, I mean, I have this one situation that I'm dealing with, you know, in the past, but other than that, you know, I'm, I'm a positive person, I'm a good dude. We all make mistakes, but no one's perfect. Mm -hmm. So just be yourself and, you know, love yourself. I'm proud of all of y'all. 
I'm proud of all y'all individually <laughs> for making it happen. Um, new music on the way, we get some food. We had time, but I should have put you on the spot to freestyle. Hey, that's cool too. How are you going to do it? All right, well, let's do it. What and you got? Now Come on, the powers Come on of the Panda will be stripped. <laughs> stripped <laughs> away. <laughs> the show ends tonight. We'll yes. be stripped away. 8 p.m. tonight on v 8 p.m. Chicago time. Yes. Tonight, VH1. Chalalo. I'm very proud of y'all. Y'all making a way. Y'all making y'all life what to do. So much Chalalo. love to y'all.